Denji Reyes may have something to do about it. This is his third spot start. So two out and nobody on here is Nathaniel Lowe. And he lashes that one out over short. That drops in, base hit. And so Lowe has done it again. It's a 12 game hitting streak. So now Adolis Garcia, whom the Mets have held in check so far in this series. And Garcia pulls one down to third, and Vientos will go the short way and get the force. And that retires the side. Well, Dane Dunning famously took over for Jacob DeGrom when he went on the injured list, and he went 8 and 1 with a 2.61 in replacing DeGrom. It's been a bit of a struggle, though, since then. 1 2 pitch, and that's a beauty. Strike three called. Nimmo down looking. Put him right where he wants him. Fly ball back of second base. Easy play for Corey Seeger in their two quick outs here. Jeff McNeil goes after the first pitch. Is it high in the air to center field, but Tavares has room out there. And it's a 1 2 3 first inning. Reyes made his big league debut with the Orioles last year. Made three appearances, one start at Fenway Park. It's a great place to get your first start. Garver called out on strikes on a fastball that caught the upper outside quadrant of the zone. Reyes, each of the first two innings, has retired the first two hitters. Pulls one on the ground to the right side. Flagged down by McNeil. From the outfield, grass throws Jankowski outside, retired. Dane Dunning was a first round draft pick by the Nationals out of the University of Florida in 2016 and Pete went in the second round to the Mets in the same draft and now the two Gators squaring off for the first time. Pete gets under one to shallow left coming on as Jankowski and runs it down inside the line one out. He is retired all four that he's faced and here is Daniel Vogelback the designated hitter. Vogelback gets under one to deep right back goes Garcia back at the wall. Here. Daniel Vogelback strikes again his 13th home run. Vogelback breaks the ice. He's in his best stretch of the season and he's given the Mets a 1 0 lead. Stewart in a similar situation. He's trying to earn consideration for a spot next year and he's been pretty hot. And Stewart turns on one and hits it toward the right field corner. Garcia back near the wall. It's out of here. Vogelback and Stewart go back to back. Eighth of the year for Stewart. He's at seven in the last 13 games. Dunning gave up five home runs in his first 86 and a third, and now has given up 11 home runs in his last 52 innings. So the Mets have two on with two outs, leading two nothing here in the bottom of the second. And Mike Maddox is going to go out to the mound and have a chat. And a couple of uh, relief pitchers that were hanging around in the dugout, they're running out there right now to right center field. Two out of two on now for Nimmo. And he lines one toward the gap in left center field, slicing away from Tavares. He won't get there. It bounces up over the wall. It's a ground roll double. That'll cost the Mets a run. And Vientos will score. Ortega is going to go back to third. And that makes it 3 0 New York. Now, can Dunning take advantage and get out of this inning? There's a ground ball first base, and it looks like he's done it. Lowe will go to the bag, and the inning is done. One away. As Pete Blatt's went oh. back to Dunning. <laughs> so one Gator robs another. And that's the second out. He's in a really good defensive position uh, for a pitcher. You don't usually see a guy ready to field, and he made that play. So after giving up a home run to Vogel back the last time, Dunning pitching carefully to him and walks his second batter of the game. Here comes a 2 2. And he got him swinging. A changeup. And Stewart way out in front of it. The inning is done. And Seeger, if his slugging percentage stays where it is at 644, will have the highest slugging percentage of all time for a shortstop. 3 hmm. 2. And he hits that hard out to center field. Nimmo going back. He'll look up. It's gone. 25th of the year. And the Rangers have started the scoring. Wow. A line drive off the bat of Corey Seager. Nimmo started going back as if he was going to have a play on it, and this ball just continued to carry. 3 2 coming, and he struck him out. A high change up there, and Reyes fans low. 1 0 pitch is hit hard towards third. Vientos has the one hopper, sets his feet, throws across, inning over. Good response from Danny Reyes. And Ortega's got a base hit. It comes off the sidewall. Okay, so now he's a threat to run. 2 2 to Nimmo. Runner goes. The pitch is low. Throw to second. A good one. The tag. Got him. And Ortega gunned down to win the inning. First time he's been caught all year. Martin Perez now in the fifth inning. That's line to left center field, and Lador has got his first hit in the series. So now McNeil, who's fly down and struck out, he rockets this one down the right field line toward the corner. It's a fair ball. Again, the Mets might. Be cost a run by the ball bouncing out of play. And now Alonzo is going to be intentionally walked, and that'll force Buck's hand. 
Vogelback is due up and we're going to get Francisco Alvarez to pinch hit. And he hits it on the ground. Simeon has it to second one on the first double play. And once again, the Rangers catch a break on the automatic double. Denji Reyes has already gone further in this game than he has in any big league outing. And a pop up on the right side of the infield. McNeil scurrying after it. Towards the line, the right field line, and he makes the catch. He was not expecting to have to go that far for that ball. Buck Showalter on his way to the mound. He's not going to let Reyes face Seeger another time. So Reed Foley's come in and walked Seeger and Lowe back to back. And the Rangers have the bases loaded. This will be the ninth pitch of the at bat to Adolis Garcia. Oh, outside ball four. And a run is in on the bases loaded walk to Garcia. Reed Foley has walked three straight Rangers to make it a one run game. And it looks like Reed Foley's going to get one more batter. And he struck him out. Finally, Reed Foley records an out. And because of that strikeout, he'll face one more. And he got him looking. Fastball on the inside corner, and Reed Foley somehow finds his way through. So really facing the top of the batting order in a one run game gives a back to back hits and a walk and now Adam Adovino will come into a mess. Garcia drew a bases loaded walk from Sean Reed Foley that got the Rangers within a run in the sixth. Inside and that got Garcia. It ties the game. Looked like he got him on his right thigh. The Dolis picks up his second RBI tonight. This one the hard way. The Mets are keeping the infield back so they're willing to concede the go ahead run to try and get two outs. Ground ball back to Adovino. The backhand flip home and then Arvias to first for the double play. I don't think I've ever seen that before Ronnie. <laughs> the backhand flip home by the pitcher. Game tied second and third two out for Jonah Heim. And Jonah out to center field. It drops in base hit. Two run score. And the Rangers have the lead for the first time tonight. It's five to three in the eighth inning. It's the night of the super blue moon, and there it is, right underneath the championship banners. Got the airplane flying in front Whoa. of it. Very, very artistic. Lovely. Pete Alonzo leads off against Leclerc. One-one pitch. Alonzo hits it on the ground to the right side. Base hit going into right field for Pete. And Pete's got his first hit in this series. Alvarez grounded into a double play as a pinch hitter in the DH spot in the fifth. Swing and a miss, and he strikes out Alvarez. One out and one on now. DJ Stewart, who homered right behind Vogel back in the second to give the Mets the 2 0 lead. They were up 3 0 before the Rangers rallied. There's another one to right field, headed toward the stands. It's out of here. DJ Stewart ties the game with his second home run of the night. Eight home runs in his last 13 games. D.J. Stewart having himself a party and it's five to five in the eighth inning and now the go ahead run on first base with the speed of Tavares and the top of the batting order coming up that's driven out to right center field back in the gap goes Stewart to the warning track and he caught it against the wall D.J. Stewart have yourself a night two home runs and now a spectacular catch against the wall. And that puts the potential winning run in scoring position. And a pop up left side of the infield. Duran will take it and the inning is done. We will have extras in New York tonight. That is seven walks by the Mets bullpen in three and two thirds innings. And it loads the bases with nobody out. Line right at Lindor. Everybody gets back safely. Now the Mets are going to bring their infield in because you got Travis Jankowski at the plate. And Jankowski chops one down at first, handled by Alonzo, throwing home, gets the force, through the first, double play, side retired. Oh, wow! The Mets turn a brilliant double play. Jeff McNeil got over to cover first base, a 3 2 4 double play to end the inning. Chapman is working for the fourth time in the last five days including a 34 pitch outing on Sunday in Minnesota and Alvarez takes ball four and that pushes the winning run to third bases loaded nobody out and how appropriate that D.J. Stewart will get a chance to put an end to this game and Stewart is hit by the pitch and the Mets win it how about that fourth RBI of the night for Stewart as he gets plucked by Chapman an extraordinary victory for the Mets. D.J. Stewart, the hero of heroes, 